Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about how to make your basic start, stop control circuit. This is by far the most popular control circuit used in industry. We're going to be using the same start stop wiring diagram that we wire our motor starter panels with and I'll put a link to it in the description. On our trainer, our four left terminals are the plus 24 volt. The four right ones are the minus 24 volt. The green contacts are gonna be normally open and the red contacts are gonna be normally closed. And looking at the wiring diagram, we're gonna go from the plus of our 24 volt to one side of our normally closed stop contact. So we're gonna connect a wire here at the plus terminal of our power supply. And we're gonna take it to the top of the red contacts of button three. Then we show a wire from the other side of that stop contact going to both a normally open of our start contact and a normally open of our motor starter, which in our case, we're gonna use a relay on the back side of ours. So we're gonna take a wire and connect it to the bottom of button three's normally closed contact. And then we're gonna take two wires into the top of our start button. And so now we should have a wire coming from the bottom of our stop around to the top of our start and an additional wire coming off of that. Okay, and on the other side, we're gonna put it to the common of one of our relay contacts. Now the relay socket has numbers on it and it also has a really fine wiring diagram on here. And since I couldn't see it myself, here it is very large. So on our relay, 13 and 14 are gonna be our coil. And you notice it says plus here, minus here. And that's gonna be these terminals right here. So 14 is gonna be the minus, 13 is gonna be our plus. And then we have two contact closures. We have our left one and our right one. So contact number nine is gonna come up and be normally closed to contact number one. It's gonna be normally open to contact number five. And same thing on this side, contact number 12 is gonna come up and be normally closed to contact number four, and normally open to contact number eight. So we're gonna connect the other side of that wire at contact number nine. And that is gonna be this lower outside one right here. That completes our circuit from our stop to our start and also to one side of that contact. Now while we've got the trainer flipped on this side, let's go ahead and connect a wire to the normally open side of that number nine contact. So looking here, number nine, our normally open is gonna be number five. And that is gonna be this back contact on the right side. And that wire is gonna go to our start. And actually I missed this little bit of coal while I was over there, probably should have done that, but we'll come back to it in just a second. So let's go ahead and take that wire that we just connected to number five and connect it to the other side of our start button. So along with that wire on number five, going to our start, it also is supposed to come over here to our coal. And this will be the plus side of our coal because we have a plus 24 volt here coming down through our normally closed stop contact. And then it'll take one of these two paths and come onto the coil. So the plus of our coil is gonna be number 13. Then we're gonna take the other side of that wire and connect it to terminal five, leaving that wire that we connected to the start button in there also. And after that, the minus of our coil is gonna go back to the minus of our power supply. So the minus of the coil will be number 14 and connect it to the minus. So what happens is we're feeding 24 volt through our stop signal here, and we're feeding it to both the start and to a contact on that relay. So when we press the start button, it's gonna make a path from our plus 24 volt to our coal, and that'll energize it. Now what keeps it in so that you don't have to hold your finger on the stop button is this bottom part, and this is called a seal in a lot of times. But so once this relay energizes, it's gonna close that contact here, allowing you to let off that start. And at that point, the only thing that can break the path of this relay is gonna be the stop. So start, stop. Let's take it a step further. Let's say that maybe on one 
you have to open up the cabinet to see this. Let's say we want to know that this relay is energized from outside the cabinet. Or say at the pump, we want to know that the pump's running. So what we want to do is we're going to make this green light work when the relay is energized. And we can do this really easily because we have this extra contact over here on our relay. So if we feed 24 volt to our number 12 terminal, then when the relay is not energized, it's gonna put power on number four. And when it is energized, it's gonna put power on number eight. Just for ease, I'm gonna connect a wire to terminal number eight, terminal number four, and over here to terminal number 12. That way I can flip it around and show you as I'll connect each one of them. Okay, now we're on the back side of our trainer and this is the wire that we connected to terminal number 12. And I'm gonna connect it to the plus 24 volt of our power supply. Then this is the wire that we connected to terminal number four. That's that normally closed contact. And we're gonna connect it to light number three. And finally, this is the wire that we connected to terminal number eight. And we're gonna connect it to light number one. And then we finally need to connect the commons of these two lights. So I'm gonna take a wire, actually I'm gonna take two wires and I'm gonna put it underneath the other side of light three. And we're gonna take one of those wires and connect it to the other side of light one. And the other wire we're gonna connect to the minus of our power supply. So now our relay is not energized and we have a red light indicating that our motor is not running. And if we press the green button, we're gonna get the green light representing that the motor is running. So there are the basics of how to wire a start stop circuit. And that is by far the most popular control circuit that you'll run into. Again, please hit that like button and subscribe. Let us know in the comments any questions you have, any other video ideas, uh, certain control circuits that you would like to learn about. And if you've made some money with the help of one of our videos, but you're not actually buying our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.